When we got to the mainland, we found the space elevator's support facility. I guess this was the factory where they built the gigantic structure the elevator traveled in. There was this little girl sitting in front of a mural. When the princess saw her, she shuddered like she'd seen a ghost. The girl had a stuffed animal. This was the day after the shit went down at Tyler Island. She walked right up to the princess, took her hand, and led her into the factory. One thing's for sure, they knew each other. The factory had been converted to a production line for Erujian drones. It was fully automated and chugging along, making drone after drone after drone. Once they got inside, the princess stopped and just stood there. Another girl was there with a man in a lab coat. He was trying to use his keyboard, but she wouldn't let him. She took a data chip and threw it on the ground. Then she walked over to us and took the gun from the prison guard's holster. She pulled the trigger and destroyed the chip. Later, I found out that the girl with the gun and the one with the stuffed animal were sisters. They were also the granddaughters of Mihai A. Shalaji, the legendary pilot. Gramps used to talk about him. He said Mihai was the top ace from two wars ago. Know any Belkins? Because this guy was a Belkin, and they love to stir shit up. Pitting nations against other nations is a particular favorite of theirs along with developing hyper-advanced technology. That's right. I'm Belkin, born and raised. My country is gone now. Rather than surrender to its enemy, Belka detonated seven nuclear weapons on its own soil. My people scattered around the globe, living in the shadows of other countries. We had a new purpose, to breed wars. The theory was that through war, we could achieve our destiny and our revenge. I had just finished inputting Mihai's data when his granddaughter came in. She destroyed the only copy I had of the information I squeezed out of him. The girl loved Mihai. No one knew more than her just how hard I pushed her grandfather for that data, how much I made him sacrifice in the process. I promised his granddaughters that his efforts were not in vain, that it could end this terrible war. But in the end, it only caused more chaos and despair. We were responsible for all this damage, all this tragedy. Now, we were going to pay for it. The Erujians, once our allies, would see to that. I had lost the drive to continue my work. Even before I noticed Mihai's granddaughters eyeing me with suspicion that one day, I should have stopped then, for all our sakes. Mihai's granddaughter tossed the gun aside. She said if she resorted to killing, she'd just end up like the rest of us. And by us, she meant everyone, including the princess. Like me, the princess was afraid to look into the girl's eyes. She knew that by encouraging her people, she kept the war going. Mihai and his granddaughter were victims of it, and now they too were paying the price. Is this for Belka or for Arugia? My grandfather had only one wish to continue soaring through the endless skies. That was the only place where he felt alive. But I don't even have a country to call home let alone the sky. The Black Forest, the lake, they are no longer mine. Even though those lands were once cherished by my late mother, we have to learn to put that sense of nostalgia behind us and behave like mature adults. My homeland. She's right. It feels so far away now.
The woman with the rifle approached me. She was focused on more pressing issues. I checked the computer. All of the data on the legendary ace had already been installed. No, I pulled it before it was completed. However, there are two aircraft that are already scheduled to be manufactured based on that data. We must destroy the factory. This isn't the only one. There are more facilities just like it. And the two planes containing the data will be manufactured at one of those facilities. So, this place runs on solar power that the space elevator generates, right? How about the others? We can destroy the space elevator and cut the power to them. First things first, let's take this one out. I'll show you which locations to target. I stood there, thinking about that mural by the factory's entrance. Harling commissioned it to be painted. I realized that in the background, behind the dancing figures, the artist had painted several space elevators. I understand now. The space elevator wasn't designed to exploit Erugia after all. Good. And afterwards, we'll bring down the space elevator itself. No matter why it was built, right now, it's the root of this chaos. I wonder... Yes? I wonder... Which path you would choose? When looking at Harling's mirror. Let's get the briefing started. We've done enough air operations. Just let us go home. There's no path for us to get home. Whatever direction you fly, you'll be right to a hail of enemy fire. Earlier, we received a communication via the partially restored general network. Here is what it contained. Apparently, the erosion radicals have gathered around the space orb. As it's a source of energy, give the war mongols a powerful energy source, and you give them the luxury to keep on fighting. In response to this, People from both Usia and Arusia have joined forces and will take down the final arsenal bird in a saturation attack from the air. Once that's achieved, they'll take the space elevator from the aggressors. Has the source been verified? It could be fake. I hear you. Take a look at what's written in the end. Hey, Dominic, if you want to bring the world back from the brink, go to the light and see the future. We go roast that damn bird. Looks like we're all on the same page. It's time to end this war. Time to fly, guys. Let's go get that arsenal. Thank you. 
So they have been ID'd as friendly via the data link. Just confirmed it. The Russian government aircraft, including drones, will show up as hostiles. You two aces, I'm thinking it's time to show us what you've got. We don't have two anymore. Guess nobody told them. That's quite true, Count. It's not just two. Wiseman trained his squad well. Everyone still entered as an ace. He'd be proud of you all. To all of you who have gathered here, regardless of your country, this is headquarters of the Ocean Army 7 Command. Wait, you can forget that designation. We are a coalition formed exclusively for the sole purpose of taking down the Arsenal Bird. Wait until we're ready to strike the Arsenal Bird in unison. Roger. Ross, you're only speaking on an open channel. The enemy can hear everything he's saying. There's no other choice. The Illusion aircraft are in the coalition as well. Looking 
get an arrow. There's another one here too. It shows a whole bunch of space elevators. Sky is on the moon. Gazette, let's go. Yes! Warning! Missiles launched from the Arsenal Bird. They're Helios projectiles. All aircraft stay clear of the blast area. Ten seconds to impact. Five, four, three, two, one. Impact. How many got caught in that explosion? Long faster. Do we have more incoming? Unknown. Proceed with caution. HQ, we have a problem. The 
damage to the Allied fleet is extensive. That was a pretty impressive firepower. I, for one, did not see that coming. The active protection system operated as expected. We should launch another saturation attack. Air power. You also the arsenal bird.
18 now. Cutter 2, you're hit. Are you all right? Still breathing. I won't be flying much longer, though. There's an ocean carrier a few kilometers to the west. It ran aground and was abandoned. It won't be easy, but it's the only place you got. Trigger, escort your wingman. Let's get to that carrier. That's all we can do. Trigger, can you hear me? I somehow managed to land. It's your turn now. The carrier ran aground, but that shouldn't be a problem for you. I'll guide you down. Two miles to carrier. You're too fast. Lower your speed. What are you guys? Bank right. One mile to carrier. You're on course. Looking good, buddy. That's what I'm talking about, Trigger. Not one scratch. Well, we're okay for the moment. Now the real challenge begins. Yeah, you're too late. I'm already.